Music is always relaxing and inviting. And tonight we have a very, very special guest. Now, this gentleman who I'm about to introduce to you is uh, always welcome. To, I, the last time I saw him had to be at least, I want to say eight, maybe nine years. Uh, he came to one of my uh, Kissing After Dark live shows. And um, when he came to the live show, he, uh, needless to say, had everyone standing on their feet and having a wonderful time. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome one of the most distinguished musical voices of our time. His voice uh, is truly a musical instrument in many ways in itself. Uh, his voice uh, effortlessly mm -hmm. can imitate guitar, bass, percussion. Uh, he is a Grammy Award recipient. In, in three separate categories, he has won Grammy Awards in for, for four consecutive decades. Now, not, not too many people in the history of the Grammy Awards and the history of our industry has been able to do that. He's won Grammys in the 70s, he's won Grammys in the 80s, 90s, and even in the millennium. I, I can go on, and I can go on and on, but we won't never get to an interview, so it's just nice to have <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Al Jarreau. How are you, sir? <laughs> you want to be my new manager, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. No, sir, no, sir. I'm not even qualified to be a manager. Uh, it is so Bless good your to heart, see man. You Great again, to see you, sir. and you're carrying yeah. on. Brother, you're carrying I'm, I'm it trying. on, I'm bringing it trying. to the people. Well, I'm bringing what they want, and what they want is to feel your vibe in New York. As New York always feels your vibe. Well, uh, I'm just glad to be included in the in the program of music that can continues to reach people, uh, hopefully in some special kind of way, and touches their hearts, maybe heals their hearts, yeah. make them happy for a moment. If that if they're happy for a moment, they're they're that, that's healing stuff. So yeah, here I am. Really <laughs> and, and your music has always been that healing factor. And as music is in general, music is healing in itself. Yes. And yeah. uh, it's been that healing factor in a tremendous way. So kudos to you, sir. Kudos to you. I'm going to straighten out some, some technical dif difficulties, but what we're going to do, I want to go back a little bit with one of your songs. Okay. It's called Our Love. When did that song come to you? Our, Ooh, our love, we must never doubt it. Love, <laughs> when you think about it, oh love. Oh, that's a long time ago, Liddy. I'm on, surprised I can. I, I'm surprised I can remember the lyric. Ours will live a thousand <laughs> years. Oh Charles my Rowe, goodness. He is live inside the Kiss of Death Dark tonight, and let's go back to that song, so you can really reminisce in the essence of love tonight. On Radio 98.7 Kiss FM. Mr. Al Jarreau in our presence in the past. <laughs> Thank you, Al Jarreau would not have. You're going to sing that song, I hope, tomorrow night at the theater. Well, can't do all of them, Lenny, my know, goodness. No, but we are reaching back and, and, and going home, so to speak, okay. and do material that, that, that my home core audience heard me do. A while back, that was kind of my thumbprint signature music, and and so we're going to do. Uh, we're going. I'll give you one of them. We're going to do "Look to the Rainbow." Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good so my question to you is: You have now shrunk your catalog of music down to medley, because you can't do them all in full because you'll be there all night. Well, yeah, yeah I, I, yeah, I've I've done that, and and I think uh, uh, audiences have kind of come to accept that that. Uh, way of doing things because you're absolutely right. Uh, if you get blessed to live along as, as I have and had a career as long as I have, then, then it's impossible to do all the things that people want to hear. And some people show up at the hotel talking about, you didn't <laughs> sing after all, and you are not going to bed. You can sing that Acapulco. I know that's right. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, New York. I'm not mad at you. Look, I, I want to address some uh, some a couple of questions that maybe no one has ever asked, and hmm. I could be. This could be a long shot. Someone, uh, one of my one of my staff members told me that you were contemplating a career in baseball. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I could go get it. I was a deep short. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, well, what what happened is uh, I, I I I was really serious through my freshman year at the at the, at Ripon College and. My grade said, no, you got to let something go. You're running cross country, you're playing basketball and, uh, and baseball, 
And so I, I, I lost my academic scholarship and, and the basketball coach, Coach Weiske, picked me up and gave me a, a, a basketball scholarship. So uh, I, I had to let baseball go. I don't think I was that gifted, though. I, I wasn't. Oh, uh, you being modest. I know you're a perfectionist at heart. <laughs> yeah. You're, 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 you're I'm learning something new. You're, you really are a perfectionist. And that's a great thing. Well, um, I'm glad I found music. Oh, you know, but, but check this out. Don't let Al fool you because uh, Mr. Jerome has a, uh, a bachelor's of science degree in psychology and a master's degree in vocational rehabilitation. <laughs> I mean, if music didn't Don't make me out, sound like an egghead. No. <laughs> People don't like eggheads. <laughs> you really are teaching us a great deal. You, what you taught us in just that alone is that never put your eggs, all your eggs at least, in one basket, just in case. Yeah, you sound like my mother and dad. <laughs> don't put all your eggs in one basket and go to school and find out why we do the things that we do and why we're here. Exactly. We're going to take you back one more time. And this song, I think there are a lot of babies you're responsible for in New York alone. Not to mention the entire world. <laughs> Mr. Al Jarreau was with us in Santa Cruz. You right. flatter me. <laughs> Teach me tonight. And oh. I'm sure many a lesson have been taught. <laughs> this is 98.7 KISS FM. 98.7 KISS. Kissing after dark. I love so, that. Kissing so, after dark. That's what we do. That's what we, do. <laughs> we do a little kissing after dark. You know, we can't, I can't sing like you. Far, far from that. So I can't make any babies like that, you know. So, <laughs> with, so with us tonight inside of Kissing Up the Dark, who will be in concert uh, tomorrow at the Nokia Theater. Right. And you with uh, a, a young horn player. Young horn player. A Christian Scott, trumpet player, who's got his thumbprint on his sound and uh, can come, comes from New Orleans. And... and uh, uh, I'm sure Winton will be listening. <laughs> how much of a perfectionist and uh, how much a uh, uh, consummate musician uh, Winton Marcellus yeah. is, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an honor to have you just in the building with us tonight. I'm so glad that you were able to squeeze me into your schedule. Hey. To hang out with hey, you. Any, anytime I'm here, I want to be here. <laughs> anytime you're in New York, you must come through. Yeah, I, and I'm not here enough you know yeah i it, it ought to be a couple three times a year someplace and and just find a, a different venue than the last and, and and have different kinds of settings you know, to for people to come and hear music i i mean I, i'm sometimes it sh it should be a place so small i can sweat on them in the first row you know you know love, new york would love that yeah that intimate up close and personal thing yeah that's right yeah get patrick to work on that <laughs> Right away, for sure. uh, before we get out of here, congratulations, because uh, I haven't seen you, um, like I said, in a nice while, but I know that you got, finally you got your star uh, ah. on in Hollywood. Yeah. How does it, how, how does it feel to have people uh, walk on, on your name? <laughs> I, 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 I love it, especially the people from, from Milwaukee. It's so important oh, for people from right. your little small hometown to come and see your name right there with Beatles and, and, and Elvis and all of those people and know, know that this is a guy who grew up in my neighborhood. We can do things. Yes, we can. <laughs> well, obviously, you're going to do that. Yes, we can. You said it, didn't you? I love that. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of things tomorrow night. Yep. Thank um, you. I hope to be a little speck on the wall. Come on down. And uh, enjoy your performance as always. Thank you. Always Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Al Jarreau, ladies and gentlemen, at the Nakia Theater tomorrow night. If you're looking for something to do, I think you have just been informed. Coming up next is the Kissing After Dark Suite. We're going to enjoy the music of Sade live. Yes. For one hour. <laughs>